hope the mics look cool though. This is with the throttle turned all the way up. I turned it to halfway, but they kind of had it out of the box. This is like half. Definitely got a cool look to it. And I can already see somebody, you know, a little bit. All right, y'all. Okay. Oh. What's going on, guys? Strongs with dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, y'all, we back with another one. We thought it was gonna be another one. Y'all know what it is. Make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button because I promise you, if you like RC content, unboxes, and all that stuff like that, you're in the right place, man. You don't want to miss out on more videos because we get it busting over here. So go ahead, I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to go ahead and like the video. Because we got to get this YouTube algorithm going, man. We got to get this YouTube algorithm cracking, man. So I need y'all to like the videos, man. Each one of y'all, each one of y'all that like this video, or each one of y'all that's watching this video, I need you to go ahead and smash the like button, man. Don't cost you no money, man. It helps your boy get the videos up to the top. It helps YouTube suggest my videos to more RC people like yourself. And we can get it cracking, man. Let's get it cracking. Let's go. Let's do it. So, after y'all have done that, I'm pretty sure I'm assuming that you guys have clicked that like button. And if you knew, I'm assuming that you subscribe, man. Let's get it busting, man. So today, man, we're checking out this 116 scale RC truck that I got from Amazon, guys. Yes, Amazon. It was like 60 bucks, I think. I want to say like $59.99. At the time of this video, it had a coupon of like 12% off. Something like that. So it came to like 52 bucks or something like that. So under $60 is what we're going with for the price of this RC vehicle, guys. Now it was uh I forget what the get out of here, fly. I forget what the brand name was on Amazon. It was branded under some type of Amazon company, but they're calling this the UG Toys guy. This is the UG Toys uh UG Toys UJ99 G162 guys. There's a couple of different colorways. Um, I think I got the green, the delicate green colorway right here. And then I also have like a purplish colorway. Green, green right here. And I have like a purplish colorway. I believe I got the green one though. So budget friendly 116 scale entry level. Um, let's see what it says here on the front of the box. 116 scale, 2.4 gigahertz technology, high speed, off-road, desert, ball bearings, oversized tires, shock absorber. Shock absorber probably means going to be friction shocks, lights, and batteries, okay? So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's check out this little UG toys, man, and see what it says. Man. A couple different specs on the back of the box. If y'all want to check that out, but, man, I'm just excited to get this bad boy out the box. And see what it do for real. Let's just see what it do, man. Get it out the box, man. See what it do. Without too much talking, man. Like I said, I do appreciate y'all smashing that like button, man. I got the video to get seen. Cause your boy be working hard putting on for these unboxings for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta smash the like button, man. So it looks like it's gonna be our control and stuff like that. Don't drop that. Not like in the new RC. Out of the playbox, you know what I'm saying? Out of the playbox. Oh, okay, this thing actually looks pretty cool. Okay. And then we got another one. Okay, instructions. Wind speed. That's our instruction manual right here, okay? And that's it, guys. That's all the contents in the box. That's all we got. That's all we got. So, boom, boom. Check that off. Nice. Instruction manual, boom, boom. Um, before we get into the meat and potatoes, let's just see, let's just see what's up in here. This will be our radio, because I can't live without my radio. You know what I'm saying? The radio up out of here. Okay. Okay, so um what do we got in here? Is there anything else in here? Like a, yeah, like a trailer. Okay. 
Make sure you take this little, I want to say, where's the charger and stuff at? Okay, make sure this little foam insert in the bottom of the box. Almost looked like there wasn't nothing in here at first. I was about to say, come on now. So here's our charger. It looks like it's one of them uh, little three prong, little three prong batteries. I'm not fine with those batteries, but hey, it comes with a charger. Here's our charger, and we had a wheel net and setup screwdriver and some extra body clips, guys. So there we go. And the way this thing is kind of packaged, it kind of looks like they call it package where you can get extras and you can buy spares because they got a package like it's you can buy spare parts for this thing. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, at first I was like, man, they ain't got us no. Okay, then the battery must be inside the vehicle. Instructions. You know, I'm trying to make this unboxing quick. I know a lot of you guys don't like unboxings and stuff like that. Okay, so here's some way out of the vehicle. Look, there's a couple of different bodies you can get. A couple of different bodies you can get. Okay. So there are some parts listings. Part listings in the back. So maybe you can get parts. I'll have to look it up to see if you can get parts. But hey, okay. At least they're giving you some options for different parts and stuff like that. Okay, look at that. Check it out. So Entry, entry level to hobby greatest type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So looking at the remote, we got throttle trim on the remote, and we got steering trim on the remote, and we got power switch, and we got foam, little foam on the steering wheel, okay? And we got a screwdriver in here, but I'm just gonna guess that it's gonna take three to lay back. They gave us a screwdriver, but I don't really wanna take this out right now. I kinda don't really wanna take this out. I got my own screwdriver around here somewhere. I don't really like using um, the included tools, but let's just look in here just to see. Make sure I'm giving you guys the right info. Make sure if you guys buy this that you got the got your double A's already ready. I'm guessing three double A's, but I'm never gonna put this screw back in here. Stupid little screw. Yeah, three double A batteries is what you're gonna need to get this bad boy up and rolling. So I did want to confirm maybe you might have to put the screw in there. Look at that. Yeah, look at that, that screw. So that screw is definitely in there for a reason. Look at me talking about I wasn't gonna never. It's a good thing I took that out for y'all and showed you. You definitely gonna need that screw, guys. That, that's a bummer. But you have to have that in there. Remember, I'm not a huge fan of that, but okay. So like I said, throttle trim, proportional steering and throttle. Decent remote besides the stupid screw, okay? Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of what you guys really want to see, right? Let's get into what you really want to see. I think these are, they look like they could be oil filled shocks. Maybe they just don't have any oil. I have to take one of these shocks, shocks apart because they're, they're super bouncy, but they look like they could be oil filled shocks. Though. It doesn't say oil filled shocks on there. Hmm. No, I'm not sure. Definitely a little bit more bouncier in the rear than it is up front. The front is not as bouncy. As you can see, it's definitely bouncy. But it looked like those could. Maybe I'll have to see if I can add some oil to those. Definitely curious to see that. Chassis is plastic. We already know what this little thing looks like, man. It looks like a little mini, like, outcast or some mini, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, notorious outcast or something like that. Look at that. Look at the way it looks. Tire compound is, uh, there's no foam in the tires at all. There's air you can hear the squish. And there are medium to hard compound. But some of this small, I really don't worry about foam in the tires and it's brushed. But the body does look cool though. The body does look cool. We got some LEDs up front. Look at that. Um, these are plastic CVDs up front and plastic dog bones in the rear. So keep that in mind. It's plastic, but I mean, hey, for the price point we're paying, I'm not gonna be too hypocritical. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna reveal it like it's an arm or a tracks or anything because it's, it's a cheap car. Um, look at that. Oh, we got LEDs running to the front though. Look at that though. We got LED. so be careful taking this body off. We do got some headlights running to the front, no tail lights, and we got a little um roof bar back here. So that's pretty cool. So this is kind of this is pretty nice though. Shocks look pretty decent. These are uh Aluminum shocks, it just doesn't look like there's any oil in there at all. 
So I wonder if I could put oil in it. Let me see. I will see. This is a little 390. I'm trying to be careful and not to test this. 390 brush motor, five wire servo, which is to be expected on these uh, cheaper cars. You know, five wire servo. Um, everything else. Uh, let me see. There's a body clip holding the battery in there. I'm trying to be careful with this. So you gotta take that little body clip off and. Okay. Okay, it's a little kind of weird how that does that, but okay. And then you can take the battery out, and this battery is um 7.4 volt, 1500 milli 1500 milliamp hour lithium ion pack battery, guys. All right. So we're gonna throw this bad boy in the charger, and we'll leave that out. Get that back in there. It's kind of a uh, a different little system to where that clips in there, but if it works, it works, right? If it works, it works, guys. So we're gonna get this battery on a charger. It's kind of hot outside, hot and humid, but I am interested to see what this little thing do if I can get this body back on here. I'm interested to see what this little guy can do. If you guys are interested to see, stick around because we're gonna run it in a few minutes. Let's go. Alrighty guys, got that battery charged up. Keep in mind that it does have throttle trim on here and it was only turned up to halfway. So I did turn it all the way up. So I got the throttle trim turned all the way up. So keep that in mind. It does have some nice LED lights on that bad boy. <clears throat> so first run, stock out the box. We're gonna see how this bad boy goes. So it's this UG Choice uh, 116 scale. I don't remember the model number guys. I'm just gonna call it the, the little mini outcast. <laughs> so it looks like. This is what the bottle turned all the way up. And keep in mind, it is brushed. I guess we gotta uh, get that steering tweaked up. So I didn't open up the shocks to see if they would hold oil. It looked like they would. But as you can see, I wanted to kind of run it, stock out the box as you would get it. Yeah, that steering definitely. Do you love with the throttle turned all the way up. I turned it to the halfway, but they kind of had it out of the box. This is like half the throttle halfway. That's full throttle, the throttle halfway. Let's see if we can turn it all the way down. That's what it all the way down. It's like creeping. Throttle off, turned all the way down. Full, full throttle. <laughs> creeping. So that's cool, you can full adjustability with the throttle. Let's be getting it for a child or something. Let's turn this all the way up. Okay, throttle turn back all the way up. So I don't know what the speed claim is on this bad boy. That's to be seen. We'll do a test later on. So you guys know I like to kind of run it first and see how it runs and performs and all that. Not bad though for the price. Underneath 60 bucks. Definitely got a cool look to it. And I can already see somebody, you know, a little bit experienced by tuning these socks and out. Putting the oil, put not oil for the oil for socks on it or putting oil in the socks if you can. And maybe uh, putting a brush system in it. Not bad though. This is what, uh, Maybe this is one of the grimes I almost should have made. I can't wait to see if I'm gonna make a little mini outcast or something. I'll be all over that, I'm telling you. Keep in mind, this is a little liquid in my arm pack. Wipe you probably get a little bit more punch. Got this tree that, uh, tree just keeps, pieces of it keep falling down. Big old chunk came down again. Clean the rest of that up again. I don't know what's up with this tree. This tree is like dying slowly but slowly. Slowly but slowly. Okay. Okay. Actually running pretty good though for brush. I'm 
nice LED lights on it. Little mini outcast. Oh, it's a bit of I see that. That joke is a bit of really. Okay, now, pal. Okay, now, pal. This is actually not bad at all, guys. A little bit of adjustment. Ooh. All right, we back. I had to pause for a second. Yeah, we go through this grass. Going through the grass pretty good. That's big over there, too. Cut my grass. Okay. Bad little UB40. Get that little UB40. Get that little Bobby Rich. I don't know who that is. Just the thought of what this little thing looks like. I ain't even gonna lie. I like it. Yeah, that's the awkward part of it. I'm gonna go off again. They probably want to try to hit that ramp. I'm going to turn this off. I'm curious what kind of run time you get with this little 1500. Look at my own pack. Ah! Yeah, we're going to do one or two more jumps with it. Alright y'all, last scene, because I got a kind of stuff to do. One last scene. See if we can hit it good down straight. Nope. Ah. Gotta get you one more time. Come on now. Go. Gotta get the curve that time. See what we can do with it. Get it going, get it, get it, get it. All right, y'all. First quick run of this out the box. I think it's going to be pretty good for the price. Your boy Jones the dogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next time we get this out, we're going to get a speed test. It's about the first run. We'll get a speed run. See how it does with that. Catch you in the next episode. You guys know what it is. Deuces.